this segment's gone to the dogs. Maybe cats, too. I didn't get into that with uh, my two guests here. Uh, you think about your pet's nutrition if you're a responsible pet owner, as we all should be. But do you think about their treats as well? That's kind of a big deal from what I understand, uh, just scratching the surface. Uh, Dr. Dirk Deakins with us. And uh, uh, Dr. Deakins, you're with a House Call of Veterinary Services. And uh, Chef Leanna Robreck uh, works at uh, Windsport, a chef at the Windsport. So we're going to talk about, you know, how you transition to the dog treats oh, yes. in a second. Uh, but uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, Dr. Deakins, let's talk about the connection between these treats and our pet's health and something called Cayley's Foundation. What's going the Cayley's Foundation is a nonprofit uh, local organization here in Calgary. Mm -hmm. And they are working very hard trying to prevent cancer in our pets. And cancer is extremely important. Uh, we see, as a mobile veterinarian, I see yes. many cases of cancer in, in our pets. And I'm always wondering how can we prevent this from even happening rather than having to try to treat it and, and all the heart that how that goes along with it. Kaylee's Foundation and Kaylee's Wish focusing on that uh, before we get to these treats and these delicious recipes. Mm -hmm. Something I alluded to. Mm -hmm. We're concerned about supper time. We know not to feed those pets uh, mm -hmm. table scraps. But uh, the importance of these treats. Could these treats that we choose be detrimental uh, off the shelves at a mm -hmm. lot of the, the big stores? Be detrimental to our pets' health? Well, we always say you are what you eat. So whatever you're putting into your own body and whatever we're putting in our pets' bodies, mm -hmm. it can have an impact on their overall health. So if we're just picking a, a box of treats from the shelf in the grocery store, who knows you know, how these treats have been prepared, how many preservatives they have in it, how many additives. And uh, so they've been highly processed in many cases. So, so we're going to show you some alternatives here today as so people can do maybe at home with some great recipes. Leanna, we're going to look yes. at your recipes here. Uh, but first from Chef at Windsport to uh, <coughs> serving human food and uh, we're working on recipes. How did you get involved? Are you just a pet lover? Or is I, it I am pet this? obsessed. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, used to be one of those people that made fun of, of pet crazy people and then I became one. And then uh, my dog Momo just stopped eating that dog food so then I started cooking for her. And that's how I arrived here. Benefits, mm. the health of it. Looks like some work, but you're going to be in the kitchen anyway, yeah. you're cooking uh, food for the family. You say cost benefit as well. Oh, yeah. This, these are very simple to make. Like, uh, this one is like one sweet potato, and the yield is probably about maybe 60 pieces. A one grated carrot together, um, and then a little bit of canola oil. And then this is dehydrated, or you could put it in your oven on the low setting. And it makes these great little leathers. Okay, and so what do we call this one? Because we're going to have the recipe for it on our Yeah, on, on Kelly's Wish, um, dot, dot, org. Oh, dot org. Okay. Uh, so this one is sweet potato and grated carrot, and that's dehydrated. And this one here is squash, rolled oats, flaxseed, and a little bit nice. uh, canola oil as well. To a certain extent, and I'll throw this out to both of you, is it a case of... If you can eat it, and you would eat it. Yeah. Absolutely. I did yeah. eat some of these yesterday. I'm going to say these are vet approved. <laughs> they're vet approved. Yes. And they're perfect after uh, your pet has a rough day. Come on, that's oh, good. Come I on. Love it. <laughs> I've never used a, a joke or humor like that on this program. <laughs> I guess the thing is, in the end, with the different varieties that you're presenting here, uh, Leanna, you can fine tune and find out exactly what your specific pet likes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, these have like omega-3 oils in it, so it's really good for, for the coats, really good also nutrients in, the, mm -hmm. in these treats. I would think that this is a, a full spectrum when it comes to the age of your dog, uh, you, you know, serving them the healthier, the mm -hmm. alternative uh, treats that are you know, holistic to a certain extent because mm -hmm. they're without the preservatives. But particularly, I think the older dogs really need to have that. Uh, absolutely. And you were talking about well, omega 3 fatty acids as well, which is really a good thing for them to have as well. As they get up in age. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, you guys. We're going to have these recipes on our website. Leanna says they're easy. You make them sound easier, chef. But I'll yes. give them a try. <laughs> uh, we'll have uh, more details. Thank you so much.